This is an all too familiar sight for everyone, maybe through the news or through personal experience. Disasters, which are characterized by the loss of life and destruction of property, are events where time is highly essential. During these events, decision makers, such as LGUs, need actionable information as quickly as possible. Actionable information, such as maps, that can probably tell you the extent of the damage or probably where to direct your research and uh, your rescue and recovery operations. Now, the production of these maps and information without the use of advanced technologies takes up a lot of time. And sometimes we don't know where to start. We don't know what data we could use or what data to start with. How do we go about this? The Department of Science and Technology Advanced Science and Technology Institute, or the DOST ASCII, is home to a wealth of data captured from space and on the ground, and has a robust science and technology infrastructure for the gathering, processing, storage, and analysis of these large data sets. The agency is home to the Philippine Earth Data Resource Observation, or the Pedro Center, which is the ground receiving station for the Diwata satellite and for a multitude of commercial satellite image providers, which means we have a snapshot of the Philippines at any given time from as far back as 2012. These large data sets are then processed and stored in the computing and archiving research environment or the core facility, which is a supercomputer that is as powerful as approximately 1,500 gaming laptops. This facility is being used by academic institutions and government agencies for their research endeavors. Now, who makes sense of these data? That is where the DATOS project comes in. DATOS, or the Remote Sensing and Data Science Help Desk, is a assured funded project, and we process geospatial data with the use of remote sensing techniques, GIS, data science, and artificial intelligence. Essentially, we detect objects from space, and we make it more efficient because we automate them for you. Some of the applications of our outputs um, include this, for example. We were able to train an AI brain to classify different land cover classes from satellite images. This can be useful not just for disasters, but also for land use planning. We also have applications in agriculture. We have already trained an AI to detect um, certain fruit bearing trees like we have done for mangoes. And we have been able to uh, apply uh, voice recognition technology on radar satellite images to map out and identify um, high value crops such as what we have done for sugarcane plantations. And of course, for disasters, we have trained an AI to identify flooding from satellite images as long as there is available satellite imagery in areas that have been hit by severe weather events. Essentially, if you need something to be detected from space, we can collaborate. What we can provide is our expertise in AI programming, remote sensing, GIS, we can develop the AI model and algorithms for you, we can train the AI and also train your personnel in how to use this technology, and we can give you support for technical needs such as debugging. All we need from you is a problem that we can solve using remote sensing, GIS, and data science, your expertise and knowledge, and an MOA or a tech transfer agreement to make things official. Essentially, the minimum value of an R&D site for a, for a pilot site, which can be scalable to a larger area, can be roughly 3.6 billion pesos, plus operational costs. But if you're a government agency or an LGU, our service is free. Satellite images, compute power, even the processing, we can do it for free. Which means that a mapping initiative that usually takes five years after the research is done, can be finished in as little as five hours. And this frees up time and expertise of your staff to do more productive and or income generating things. So if you have, um, if you have research for planning and decision support systems in disasters, agriculture, 
insurance, or you have initiatives that require remote validation, you may contact us. We are reachable via email at datos at asti.dost.gov.ph or follow us on social media through facebook.com slash datosproject. Let's make use of space technologies and make use of big data to provide solutions to problems, not only for disasters, but also for everyday life. Thank you very much to Pichard for having me. Director Marciano of the USD ASTI um, sends his congratulations. And to everyone, good afternoon.